Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a two-parter from uh, DC and Dark Horse Comics uh, called Batman, Hellboy, and Starman, uh, covered by Mike Mignola. Um, yeah, I got this, you know, um, maybe you saw my unboxing video. Um, so I was very happy that I got the, these two, um, with two, I mean, this one as well. And um, so, but before we go in, uh, maybe you would like to subscribe to my channel, you know, like, share, and all that stuff. And comment that would help me uh, my channel a lot that would be great so on with the show so we see here gotham city right um there's some i believe news helicopters or police helicopters i'm not entirely sure and uh the joker is uh, fleeing from the batman and um oops so the batman comes and he says they are moving too fast hard to see with all these spires keep on them do your best you can't get away, maniac. The devil, you say. And he says, uh, give up, Joker. Surrender. You must think I'm crazy. So it is. <laughs> this is a Mike Mignola's rendition of the Joker. And he throws something. It looks like some kind of an atom blast. Looks awesome. And uh, yeah, the Joker um, got away. And uh, so and he says, what about Batman? Is he okay? He's standing but I don't think he wants any company at the moment. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. I always like, um, I'm recently liking Ms. Mignola's art. Um, I was never into Hellboy and, and, and you know, this, his work, but now I picked up the uh, those special editions, um, those compendiums, those hardcovers. I'm really into that universe. And he always does this, you know, some random image of things that creates oozes atmosphere and tells a, a little bit of a story. Meanwhile, meanwhile, at the GCPD, which is the Gotham Central Police Department, if I remember correctly, Batman is talking about um, Joker with uh, Professor, Professor Commissioner Gordon. What is he, Captain Gordon? Let's say Commissioner. I'm not sure. And um, he said, you remember the bar last July? Of course. They had a hockey match on TV and the Joker wanted to watch Frazier, so he killed everyone in the place. It's like a ticking bomb. Each time we wait for death, for the death toll to start and to mount. And each time it does. You'll find him, Batman. You always do. I'll be feel better if I knew uh, what the Joker was planning. He obviously up to something for there to be so many sightings. You need some rest. Not rest. Not until... And then he pauses. Anyway... It'll be morning soon. I wonder what's that all about. Uh, maybe he was just tired or something else. Meanwhile, uh, Bruce Wayne is meeting up with um, Ted Cord. Um, no, what am I saying? Ted Cord is not. No, that's Blue Beetle. Um, Ted Knight, sorry. Um, so he is a Starman or former Starman, and I believe his his uh, identity is open. You know, uh, public. I mean, and uh, he took a. Talks about Bruce with, you know, alternate energy sources because of, you know, his energy rod being Starman and all that stuff. So he's giving, I don't know, uh, some kind of a lecture um, um, with these people. And then he wants to say, well, uh, I've been uh, Starman for a very long time and now I want to use the, the, um, the energy and the technology from the power rod for something good, right? But then, oh no, he's getting interrupted by... Well, skinheads with swastikas, and they're getting blasted. Um, but that, you know, Ted Knight is coming in because he still he has the power of Starman in him, right? He's just, even if he's an old man and retired, he still can kick ass. And um, he says, uh, I don't know what kind of energy you're wielding, but don't worry, old man. It's alternative. <laughs> yeah, but because... He speaks about alternative energy here. <laughs> All right. But then Batman comes in, you know, kicking ass, throwing uh, batarangs. And he says, come on, don't weaken. He's just one man, says these guys. Uh, Burn him. Keep him at bay until we got night out of here. And he says, come on, all of you. Um, so, but this guy says, uh, no, I'm not done with. What about Danny? Danny made his choice. You won't stop him. It will soon be October. And then he's, I don't know, self-destructing and burn himself out. And Batman looks like, oh, shit. Um, later that night, I'm here, Jim. Why did you summon me? I didn't, Batman. 
He did. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Nice suit. <laughs> Dry. I hear what happened here today and I got first flight in from Washington, D.C. The organization Hellboy works for uh, thought it might be helpful if he paid us a visit. Helpful for what? Both of us, maybe. So Hellboy explains, you know, what's happening, you know, and there were some reports about, you know, paranormal activity, right? And he says, um, the neo-Nazi who blew himself up before he died, he said, it will be soon be October, even though it's March. Yes, that was strange. A group of Nazis, the real old-fashioned kind, based somewhere in South America, they go by the name of Knights of October. Words reach us, they're planning something using magic best left alone. Magic. Isn't it what you guys were using? It seems more like electrical energy. Sure. It's hard to tell at first, but this is my sort of thing. So you're going to have to trust me. So, and then, I'll, you know, um, Batman wants to you know, do, do his detective work and go along. But then Hellboy um, says, hey, um, with all due respect, you may think you're experienced with magic, Batman. But really, compared to me, you have no idea. He can help you, Batman. And uh, so, okay, so they're going to try to locate uh, former Starman, right? And uh, he said, so you're coming? Careful, it's a long drop. Hey, I'm used to this. I fall down a lot. That's true. <laughs> He's been falling down a lot in his own comic. So he, they are looking for some, I don't know, swindler, I guess. And uh, so he says, hey, go see Giovanni. He might know, right? So they go to, I don't know, a car repair shop. And he says, um, yeah, sure, I know something maybe. You aren't, aren't hard to get answers from Giovanni. Me? I'm civil-minded, plus the fact that you and Big Red over here are scaring me to the point I can barely hold my bladder. <laughs> so he says, go more uh, see Morty Slate. He's got a scoop. All right. So they go, so go to see Morty, and he says, Batman comes in. He says, Morty, it wasn't me. It wasn't you what? I don't know anything about what. And he just uh, leaps out of the room, uh, you know, through the glass, and he's scared. And then... Uh, Hellboy comes in, he says, boo. <laughs> so, yeah, they got some information about that, you know, just some kind of a hangar. And um, and it's deserted, but it's full with, um, you know, these people. And um, so Batman's glad that the Hellboy is here. So, and then they are, uh, you know, getting ready to uh, to to, uh, to attack, right? To, to get in. Uh, but they also talk about, you know, um, about each other's lives a little bit, you know, that... Hellboy finds it strange that, you know, what's happening in Gotham, that's a strange city. And Batman finds it strange that, you know, basically Hellboy is the epiphany of, you know, magic, right? Because he's, you know, a demon from hell, son of Satan. I, is he a son of Satan? I believe so, right? Of, you know, a, a hell lord. And, uh, and they say, it's Batman and the devil. They're coming. Prefer to deplan, defend the plane. Kill them both. Right, and they are attacking immediately, and this looks great, man. Right, um, this classic uh, Mike Mignola's uh, pose and art, um, lots of black, lots of ink, pretty cool. Um, always in the dark, that's a signature move. And uh, Herr Dance, what shall we do? Do why well, keep fighting, you fool? Stop them, delay them. We must get this old man to San Diablo. Die stopping them if you must. Use the spell of passage. Spell of passage, says Hellboy, right? Um, so he says, Batman, I'll take care of the magic stuff. You do something about the plane. It's taking off. Go, plane's mine. I like it, this very minimalistic time of speaking. No very big explanations or talking points like they do in modern comics now. Just simple, I do this and you do that. So he's using, I don't know, bat, bat, uh, what is it? Hook, bat rope. I don't know. <laughs> and he uh, lifts off, but then this, this neo-Nazi comes in. It's just grabs and he's falling down. Um, so he's lost the plane. And then inside of the hangar, these uh, skinheads are doing some ritual. And Hellboy knows that they are in danger because they are, the, the spell of patches will produce a vacuum that will suck us all in. Um, so they are completing the spell. This guy's dead opening a portal or something, some, some kind of a vacuum, and everybody's getting sucked in. It looks so cool. 
And he says, Batman, grab hold, grab hold of something, anything. So he's using his batarang, I guess, again, or bat rope or bat hook. Probably there's another word for it, but I forgot, right? And then uh, he also saves uh, Hellboy. And they, before they are starting to break or just starting to bend, um, it's over. And it, at least also this swastika mark uh, as the portal closes. All these Kirby blots, so cool. I love Kirby blots. Uh, so yeah, then um, so they're driving back, and he says, "I got a plane ready. We can go after the Nazis within the hour." San Diablo is a small outpost in the Amazon jungle, and he also um, he says, "Wait, well, I got a plane that is probably faster than them, uh, so we can get ahead." But then um, Hellboy says, "Well, as long as nothing else gets in our way, nothing will." Oh yeah, and. But, oh no, it seems that Joker has been, <laughs> has been sighted again. And um, his crime wave started. We knew he was planning something. What? The children of Gotham's 20th wealthiest businessman. He's threatening to turn him into living crazed likenesses of him. So Batman looks like crap. Um, you can't go without me, can you? No, I understand. So he says, um, you go, I give you the plane and I catch up later, right? But then... Um, I just hope one hero will be enough against all those Nazis. But then, it won't be just one hero, Hellboy. I'm coming too. So, yeah, this is uh, his son uh, of, of... I forgot his name. Uh, but, you know, this is the other Starman um, that comes to the rescue, I guess. And that leads us to the next issue. Then we're going to do back-to-back, -back, guys. I, I think that's, you know, since it's a two-part now. You know, it's, why should wait a month or something? We're going to do this back to back. So this today, we're going to do this. And tomorrow, we're going to do, well, vol issue two. And uh, we're going to see if it's actually cool. I hope so. I mean, I'm intrigued. Uh, so, guys, let me know what you think about this. See you next time. Thanks for watching, as always. Bye-bye.